Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Roommates! Did I, did I say Roommates in the first episode? Oh. Anyways, let's just uh, continue where we left off. Pfft. You think I get that code that easy? Oh, I read this already. If you say so. Just you watch. There's a sweet smell and some soft ambient music coming from the room next to mine. I wonder who lives here. I knock loudly on the door. Hey, anybody home? What? What are you doing? I told you I was going to introduce you to everyone. Yes, but you don't need to disturb. This beautiful blonde pops her head out. Now she doesn't have the pure sex appeal of Isabella or the untapped potential of Anne, but she's the closest thing to a 10 I've seen all day. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Was I disturbing you? Pfft, my grand's music's louder than that, no offense. The name's Max, just moved in today. This here's Anne. No, nice to meet you. Oh, you must be my new neighbors. I was wondering if anyone was living in those empty rooms. I'm Sally. I just moved in this past Friday. Oh, you're Sally. It is so nice to meet you. Same. So what's with the whale sounds? Oh, this is just for meditation purposes. The energy here is so hectic that I feel like there needs to be something tranquil to balance it out. Energy? Energy. You know, things like auras, the spiritual forces connecting everything in this world. Why, if there's too much of one kind of energy, then... Rakesh, get in here! Sally winces. Everything ripples outwards from there. I'm going to keep meditating, so you're welcome to join if you like. She's pretty and all, but I'm not into that whole tranquility thing. Nah, I'm going to check out that scene down the hall. Catch you later. Okay, I'll see you at dinner. She waves cheerfully before shutting the door. Anne shrugs as the door closes. She looks towards the yelling noises, shakes her head like a mouse and scurries away. Oh, but bye, 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 Anne. I suppose I should have expected that. Anyway, I'm up for some more adventure. It sounds like this will be interesting. Oh, yeah. I walk further down the hall, following the sound of Isabella's outrage. The door to what I can only assume is her room is half open. I go inside to see what the commotion's about. Ooh. Oh man, my first day here and it already looks like there's gonna be a rumble. Looks like Isabella versus whoever this other guy is. She certainly looks angry enough to make him sorry for whatever it is he did. Sizing up the contender, he seems like a good looking dude, but he's certainly no fighter. Oh well, too bad for him. I hope whatever he did was worth it. <laughs> I can't believe he painted all over my dance pole. Dance pole? Ha, damn! Yeah, I got a dancer in the house now. Maybe she'll perform for us later on sometime. I am sorry. Do you not like the colors? I don't know his accent. I'm just gonna go with it. <laughs> It has nothing to do with the colors. I can't exercise with all this fresh paint on here. But it looks more vibrant, yes. No. Mm. Well, maybe a little, but I'm still mad because you should have asked before you went off and used my things in your art project. You wouldn't want me to take all your paintbrushes and tape them together to make a dance pole, would you? The guy thinks for a moment, then shakes his head. He was thinking of how hot that would have been. I would not mind if you did that. And and there's the problem. There's such a thing as private proper... What's all this about? Rakesh messed with my exercise pole. So I see. And... You're the RA. Why don't you talk to him about it? Oh, I'd love to, Isabella. But I'm afraid that over-regulating things here would make me too much of an iron-fisted dictator. Seriously? I'm always serious. How else would I crush rebellions? Ah, uh, whatever. I'm going to take a shower. Pah. Need any help? Isabella stops to give me the once-over. 
Hmm, you're cute. Sure, I can always use another back scrubber. Well, guys, it's been fun eavesdropping on you, but I should really get... Ah, 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 we never did finish orientation, did we? What? Give me a break. Cry me a river. Oh, we're down back here. Ugh. Dominic drags me back to the common room and gives me a lecture on the other nine house commandments. Moving day and ever ready. I'm getting put down by the man. What a drag. The guy from earlier comes up to me once Dushanik leaves. Seems he's figured out how to dodge the long arm of the law. You can talk a great deal, eh? More like I missed out on a great deal thanks to him. Yeah, I can, can't, you know, help Isabella um, scrub her back. Sorry, Ganesh? Rakesh. Oof, way off. I'm Max. I hold out my hand. He looks confused for a moment, then takes my hand and shakes it. Except when he lets go, he runs his finger down my palm. Um... <laughs> ah, you don't have that here? It is just how we shook hands in India. Forget it then. I am working hard on getting more westernized. Right, right. Anyways, Rakesh, let's get one thing straight here. You can paint anything else, but you can but, but you touch my guitars or my amp, and we're thrown down. Got it? Rakesh holds up his hands. I understand. Crystal clear. Good. But what is it that we will throw? I slap my palm to my face. Unsure if he's messing with me or not, when something that smells incredibly good hits my nose. Ah, it is time for dinner. Who's cooking? Usually it is me, but today it is Sally's turn. He doesn't look particularly happy about it. Is she a bad chef? No, very good. She is just... She does not cook with any meat or milk products, not even butter. Vegan? Yes, uh, vegan. No meat. What the hell? If I'd wanted to sit around eating hippie helper, I would have gone to art college. I make my way down, I make my way back downstairs and barge into the kitchen. <laughs> the sentence just made me think of, uh, of Vanessa Carlton's um, song, Thousand Miles. Making my way downtown, making my way <clears throat> You know, oh, sorry. Ooh. Sally looks up from her frying pan and gives a cheerful wave. It looks like she's cooking some kind of putty. Wait, no, Patty. <laughs> Hello again. Dinner will be ready in just a few minutes. Oh, okay. Hey, hold on. I demand to know what you're making me eat. Don't worry. I know that most of the people here are omnivores, so I'm making some good old-fashioned burgers and hot dogs. Burgers and hot dogs? But wouldn't those have... Veggie burgers and soy dogs. Oh, they look and taste just like the real thing. You won't be able to tell the difference. And that's where people are wrong, because every review that I've seen is like, no, it is horrible. It doesn't taste the same at all. She smiles. Man, how can I say no to that face? She's practically an angel. All right, I'll bite. This better be as good as you say. Sally gives me a playful swat on the head with her spatula. Hey, don't do that and get all that oil on my hair, my greasy hair. It will be, now shoo. I go over to the common room dining table and take a seat. Over on the couch, Dominic seems to be giving Rakesh a half-hearted lecture on property rights. Rakesh smiles and nods, but I get the feeling it's not going to stick. Anne hasn't come down yet, probably too shy. Or rearranging all those knickknacks she brought with her. Sheesh. What was that? Hey, is dinner ready yet? Isabella comes down the stairs, fresh from the shower. By which I mean she's wearing nothing but a towel. You, get dressed before coming down here. Oh, is little Dominic getting all hot and bothered? 
I'll just go use that fire extinguisher you brought in. At least the girl upstairs appreciated the view. Make that two of us. Dominic here just doesn't know a good thing when he sees... Wait a sec. We're upstairs. And? Wait, do you mean... No! Isabella, put some clothes on. It's a towel. I'm breaking neither house rules nor public decency laws. Face it, honey. In a war of escalation, I always win. We'll see about... Dinner is served. Sally busts those out, carrying so many platters it's a wonder she hasn't fallen over. Burgers and hot dogs here, buns here, sweet potato fries and condiments over here. Enjoy. Ooh, I love sweet potato fries. I love sweet potato. So much deliciousness there. And vitamin A. And comes down, giving Isabella a quick glance before blushing and looking away. Damn it, what did I miss? We all dig in. Mm. Uh, this does not taste like meat. This tastes like a dish sponge. I'm going to order a pizza. I reluctantly agree. You big babies, you barely had a bite each. Oh yeah? If you like it so much, how come your plate's nothing but fries? I'll have some later, I'm just... Bracing myself! Rakesh pushes his plate aside. Thank you for the meal, I am full. I don't think this is that bad. No, no, they're right, I must not have gotten a good brand. Oh no, any kind of soy is... Nah. I'll just have to do better next time. She claps her hands. Dominic, make that three pizzas, one with no cheese. It'll be my treat this time. And so it came to pass that my first meal on campus was delivery. I've got to admit, Sally owning up like that took a lot of class, and here I thought she was just a pretty airhead. Long as Dushenik doesn't wreck my parade, I think I'm gonna like it here. Oh yeah, girls in towels, a shy girl, uh, Rakesh, I don't know what he does. And then Sally, the meditator. You might assume that I'm asleep till noon kind of guy. Wrong! 6 a.m. every morning on the dot. Late to bed and early to rise. Makes a man healthy, wealthy, and not particularly wise. But hey, life is short. I let out a yawn and walk downstairs. Looks like Sally's doing some stretches in the common room. She shoots me a bright smile. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Slept all right. Mattress was kind of hard though. Like a rock. Because it was a rock. A big slab. That's no good. Do you want me to lend you a mattress pad? Nah, I slept worse. Like on a harder rock. There was this one time I woke up in a dumpster just as I was going to get loaded up into a garbage truck. No clue how I got there. Oh, that's terrible. Man, see, that's what happens when you drink a whole bottle of vodka there. She looks seriously worried for me. How could they? You're clearly recyclable. Eh. <laughs> ha. Nice. Don't worry, I'm just exaggerating anyway. Thank goodness. She lets out a sigh of relief. Maybe she really was a little worried for me. Hmm, I did wake up in a dark alley with a massive hangover and no pants once, but I'll keep that one for another time. And that reminds me of a story of my friend who, uh, where we went off to Taiwan, me, my, and me and my two friends, and we were at a club, right? And thus, one of my friends got kicked out of the club, started throwing rocks at the bouncers, and then we couldn't find him, but we were searching for him the whole night because, you know, he's our friend in a different country. We searched for him the whole night, couldn't find him, and then when morning came, he, he woke up, called us on his phone, good thing no one took his stuff, and then, and then uh, he told us, and he had no pants on, and he lost his iPhone, and that sucked. But anyways, I have to end the episode now. Um, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please give this video a like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter to get updates on my video releases. Uh, thank you for watching this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!